As Christians in today's society, in today's world, it is vital that we understand that the feminist ideology is actually controlled by a demonic spirit that not only destroys countries, not only destroys families, but it destroys people. I wanna make some things very clear in today's video. This topic of feminism is one that is highly touted and highly talked about in every sphere of society. And as Christians in today's day and age, we must take a stand against ideologies that are in direct conflict with Jesus, that are in direct conflict with the Word of God. Why? Not for the sake of arguments, not for the sake to say I'm better than another person, but for the sake of people and the sake of souls. Because here's the truth. When people operate or when people empower an ideology that is against the Word of God, they are actually empowering the spirit of the devil in their lives. And so this is more than just he say, she say, and more than just a history talk. This actually matters for the sake of people's souls and for the sake of people's eternity. And so where I wanna start in today's video is I actually looked up the definition of feminism. Now I will say this, there's a lot of differing uh, opinions and definitions and thoughts on this. However, this one that I found actually came from the International Women's Development Agency, which is one of the biggest agencies in the entire world. And so what it says, it says, feminism is about all genders having equal rights and opportunities. Now here's what I wanna do. I wanna break down three points today because I actually know that many Christians, some Christians would even call themselves a feminist. And it's so vital that we understand and that we actually break down language and words because you might not actually be a feminist after all, or you might be one and it's important for you as a Christian to understand what truth is and what the Word of God says so that you don't walk in error. So let's dive into point number one. This is why language is so important. We see in that definition of feminism, when you think of feminism, at least for me, my first thought was the word women. However, in our culture right now, we have men who are identifying as women and women who are identifying as men. So what we know right now is that there's actually a confusion of gender. And this is why it's so vital that we root ourselves in the word of God, because the word of God makes it clear. Genesis 1 verse 27, it says right here, God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. Okay. That is so, so clear. Now there's two other things that we have to keep in mind as we progress forward in this video. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm gonna share something so, so powerful that you might not have heard before. What's so important is there's actually these two things that I've really been learning as I've grown in my walk with God. And what they are is orthodoxy and orthopraxy. Now orthodoxy is doctrine that the church of Jesus, the body of Christ has believed for thousands of years. And one of those beliefs is that there is two genders, male and female. And then we see orthopraxy, which is the practice of the church that's been happening for thousands of years. And that also backs up that for thousands of years, up until recently, that some Christians are actually believing that there's more than two genders. Now you might be saying, well Ross, feminism started out really good because when feminism first was coined a term, this was in the 1900s when women didn't even have the ability to vote. Now it's really clear that feminism had really great intentions. It had really good morals. It was actually so that women would have equal rights in society, and that is actually biblically backed up. We know that through the word of God and through scripture, that men and women were created equally in God's image and should have the same human rights. But here is where the difference takes place. It's two R words, rights, and roles. Now let me explain what I mean here. You see, men and women absolutely should have the same rights, but we have different roles. And this is why this is so important because what feminism wanted to do is create equal rights, which is so, so valuable and so, so important, but then they're blurring the lines on the roles. And this is why this is so critical because if you believe that you want equal rights for all genders, then that means you're ultimately affirming that men can say they're a woman and try to act and live in a way that fulfills a woman's roles or vice versa. Now this is why we have such an issue and why specifically as Christians we must understand the Word of God and we must discern through the Holy Spirit because so many times people will use feminism as a cover of compassion, a cover of love, a cover of understanding, a cover of healing, but the truth is what feminism means today is not what it meant 30, 40, 50 years ago. And so here are some expressions that I talked about earlier what feminism would like to see 
done. What it would like to see, now it's using the word gender, but even if we replace the word gender with women, it's still the same conflict with the word of God. Because what many feminists believe is they want women to actually begin to live a life that would be similar to the role of a man. Let me explain. You've probably heard this because if you're anywhere near my age, we've been indoctrinated with so much media, so many ads, so much entertainment to say a woman should do exactly the same things as a man, which is completely false. Equal rights, different roles. So hear me out, right? Right now in society, many women are taught and told to go pursue a career. They should have as much sex as possible, they should hook up with as many people as possible, stay single as long as possible, and pursue whatever they want to do. Now here's the truth, God gives us absolute freedom to pursue things in our lives, but we see some themes in the Word of God, and some of those themes are that women are designed and created to be mothers, designed and created to be wives designed and created to be more nurturing than men so anytime when you hear a feminist say they want women to have the same rights as men what they're actually saying is they want them to have the same roles and the reason why this is so so vital and so so important because it goes against the nuclear family if we have women thinking they are men that they can be fathers it is not correct because they were not designed to do that and so therefore anytime a woman steps into a man's role there will be issues there will be a lack of because that is not god's design now here's where i want to kind of close this video if somebody would call themselves a feminist who is a christian the issue with this is it doesn't stop at just feminism so let me explain once again, like I've said multiple times, feminists would believe that if you identify as a woman, then they are on your side. Now here's the issue, Romans 1 and other scriptures make it really clear that living a homosexual lifestyle is not the design of God. And so the truth is, if you align with feminism, then you would also align with the LGBTQ agenda. Because this is the reality, is the LGBTQ agenda, what it has done, it is a spirit of the age, it is a spirit of lust that has led to gender confusion, it has tried to switch gender identity, it has led to homosexual relationships, and what it is doing it is actually destroying the very image of a woman. Because as soon as you allow men who want to identify as women, you are destroying the very thing that you were trying to create in the first place. And so here's what I would really like you to do. I would really like you to do a few things. Number one, please drop your feedback in the comments below. I would love to hear what the Holy Spirit and what the Lord have shown you. Number two, I would love to just have actual conversation. I'm really aware that sometimes many people, when you talk about topics that are really heavy, they wanna to jump to conclusions and they wanna to jump to opinions when they don't know anything about you. Here's the truth. I grew up in a lesbian household with two moms. I was around the LGBT community a ton of my life I've been around plenty of feminists in my life and so this is not coming from a place of not having any understanding or any experience it's backed by the Word of God but it's also something that I've experienced in my life so I hope this video encouraged you I hope they bless you make sure you subscribe down to the channel click the video that's popping up onto the screen I believe it'll be really valuable on your walk with God